Hi, 8th grade science. I'm here to teach you the initial part of our brain drain. So this is your star reference sheet that you will get for science. So it has all of your elements that you could need to answer any test questions. And the point of a brain drain is to get out all of your knowledge at the beginning of a test. When you're taking a test, a lot of times there's a lot of questions and you start to forget things. You have answer choices that are meant to confuse you, especially on star. So if you start first with your brain drain, then you can always use it to help you answer questions. So I'm going to start with what we've been learning with atoms. So up here in the top corner, we do our basic atomic structure. So remember, there is no peeing in the pool. Then you have your electrons, which are negative. Those are your neutrons, which are neutral. Your protons are positive. And then out next to proton, I'm going to write identity. Because protons always determine the identity of the element. So that correlates to their atomic number. So for example, nitrogen would have seven protons because its atomic number is seven. Then you want to bracket your nucleus and label that as well. And your nucleus is the most massive part of an atom. So you would write mass there in parentheses. Because remember your protons and neutrons are both one AMU. Electrons have about zero AMU, so they don't have very much mass. Most of your mass is in the nucleus. Okay, Down here we have our main um, key for the periodic table symbols. So out next to this, we're going to write out the eight-man formula, just like how we've been doing it in class, where we line it up in the correct places. So I'm going to line up ape with the atomic number since that represents the atomic number. And I'm going to go ahead and write out what it means. I'm going to just use abbreviations. So atomic number equals protons, which equals electrons. And then my man needs to go down here next to my mass. So atomic mass minus atomic number equals neutrons. So now you have that written and ready to go for any problem you would need to solve. Now the last thing for now is going to be our quick little reminder. You're just going to draw a dot here to represent a valence electron. or VE, and valence electrons determine the chemical reactivity of an element. So any time that you see valence electrons, you would write reactivity next to it. So that's going to be the last part. So those are the three things for now that you would need on your brain drain, and then in the future we'll be adding other things. So. I want you, while you're watching this video, to make sure that you got those three written down. And then, when the video is over, go ahead and flip over to your blank side, and you can just practice those three things again. So, for example, you don't have a periodic table on this side, but if you wanted to, you could just sketch out the basic shape. But you wouldn't even necessarily need it. You just do your atom up here. Go ahead and practice writing out eight man again. And then write about your valence electrons. So go ahead and practice that on the back and be ready to use it on your test.